Hello, I'm Deacon Paula Waite, assigned to the Episcopal Church of St. John the Baptist in Milton, Delaware. Today, I'm visiting the iconic treehouse located at our community-friendly and generous neighbor, Dogfish Brewery. Today, I would like to talk a little bit about the outreach efforts that St. John the Baptist participates in throughout the year. The first um, ministry that I want to talk about is our Sandwich Thursdays. Many of the students are relying on the school lunches during the school year, but during the summer months, those lunches don't exist. Three years ago, St. John the Baptist began Sandwich Thursdays, providing a free lunch to students during the summer months. This year, we served over 30 children each and every week during the summer. It was an amazing effort, and it was funded not only by the generosity of the people in our pews, but also the public saw our volunteers out there and contributed generously, so it was fully funded this year. A great ministry to become involved in. Another ministry is the Milton Food Pantry. It's located almost directly across from our parish and is open on Mondays, on Monday mornings actually, and it provides food clothing and books to those in need. They're always looking for donations and if you're looking for a way to help your neighbors, that is another method that you can do so. Another ministry that is a seasonal favorite and has just started up for St. John the Baptist is our um, Stockings for Soldiers. Now that's a national effort, but here at St. John the Baptist, we stitch together all, almost 200 stockings and fill them with supplies, and they're sent to the soldiers who are serving overseas. It's a wonderful ministry, and we receive many thank you notes from the soldiers saying that they feel closer to home because they've received something not only from the United States, but many times from their home state of Delaware. The last thing I wanna talk about today is, is just about the Hurricane Dorian and the devastation that occurred during that storm. If you are looking for a safe way to contribute to those individuals affected by the storm, the Episcopal Relief Fund is the perfect way to do that, and any donation is accepted. It's hard for any of us to imagine not only losing everything we own and our homes, but also the impact and the trauma associated with that kind of storm. All of these ministries are available. I encourage you to look on our website and take a look and see if there's something that touches your heart and makes you feel that you want to get involved. If there is, please don't hesitate to reach out to me or through the website itself. You are all welcome to join us for worship on Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. with Fellowship to Follow. And remember, the Episcopal Church welcomes all, no exceptions.